couple of days ago, Rafael Stone had this to say, hoping that there could be something the Rockets can take away from these finals. Here's the general manager of Houston's basketball squad. We should all be watching because that's what you aspire to be. And, you know, the game is changing. It's, it's, it's evolving. And uh, some of the trends in the playoffs will be things. Well, some of the things that they see in the playoffs, including just how hard you have to play, are things that, that we very much need to be all about starting game one next year. So there are some lessons that the Rockets could take away from game three of the NBA finals where the Nuggets crushed a Miami Heat team. Alperin Shingun, he just needs to be like Nikola Jokic. He had 31, 21, and 10. <laughs> we had a conversation after the show yesterday, Sean and I did. We like to make some very light comparisons between Jokic and Shingun, mainly because of how good he is as a passer. I think we all need to also realize, though, that Nikola Jokic might be one of a kind, and an Alperun Shingun, who is definitely promising, is probably not going to be Nikola Jokic. I would say it's just as likely that he ends up Clint Capella as his max player. And not to say Capella had zero skills other than being able to catch the ball and jump and play defense and switch on people. But I, I, I think that <laughs> there's a chance that that is how good Shengun ends that, up being, which isn't bad. But again, like, let's not act like he's going to be the second coming. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of, like, penciling in, like, Jokic <laughs> for Shengun that happens with Rockets fans. And it's, like, it, it's the taking the, oh, they kind of play similar. They, they have, like, a similar, like, strengths and weaknesses. But Jokic's are all ratcheted up to, to 100, yeah. and he can also shoot threes. And they're all, and so it's like, yeah, I think the guy pulling down 32, 21, and 10 in a finals game, I, I think we might be, can we, can we, at what point do we stop going Singoon can be Jokic? Because it's like kind of ridiculous I to think, go Singoon, can you be Sabonis? Can you be Devonis Sabonis? I think we stopped doing it, Sean, when. The Rockets have a coach who doesn't randomly bench Shengun for like the entirety of the end of the game when they're garbage. Yeah, he doesn't play enough defense. Oh, like all I the other guys do. Okay. My bad. Yeah, yeah this... I forgot. I forgot the bad boy Pistons were this <laughs> was the other five guys on the court. Man, Bill Lambeer out there. Yeah. Oh my god. I forgot. Crazy. I forgot. We signed Rick Mahorn the other day. And yeah, you know what? Shengun can sit. <laughs> Rick Mahorn rules. Uh, Jalen Green just needs to be like Jamal Murray too. That could happen, right? 34, 10, and 10. Yeah. Scoring guard. Hey, it could happen. Uh, put in effort. That's another thing we learned to get the Rockets. Because Jimmy Butler and Eric Spolster said the Heat didn't put in enough. This actually is something I hope the Rockets are paying attention to. Phoenix Suns ownership and executives had a series of conversations with Chris Paul and his representatives on the future that Paul will have. In Phoenix, there's a chance he could be waived by... June 28th, which is the guaranteed date on his contract. And I saw that per Crispy Haynes, it's very likely he will end up getting released. If there is a reunion with an ex Rockets player in the Rockets, I'd actually sign off on it is Chris Paul. And I know that Chris Paul is not the same player that he used to be. Paul also wants to play for a contender. That said, this is the hard-ass veteran that you want on a roster that you don't have to give up assets to get that we saw, I think, seriously help Devin Booker's progression over the last couple of years. And Booker was probably always going to be this, but it helps to have a guy, I think, like Chris Paul on your team when you're a young, impressionable player. And... He's not for everybody. Obviously, he wasn't for James Harden. But if there is a reunion I'd sign off on, it's that. He helped Phoenix mature very quickly. And again, we're talking about as alternatives, Deshaun Nix, right? I mean, who were we talking about as a true point guard alternative on the Houston Rockets right now, June 8th, 2023? Oh, you hope Ty Ty Washington can kind of take the reins from him, put together a good summer league. Sean, he's one of many Rockets players that I hear mentioned entirely too much. 
it's no offense to these guys. They're young. They're trying to make it happen. But the amount of people who follow the Rockets that act like Ty Ty Washington, KJ Martin, uh, Tari Eason are these like unbelievably promising players drives me crazy. The team sucked last season. Keep it in your bleeping pants. They're just people that are wearing the Rockets uniform. Yeah, and, and there's a difference between like like a young core and like you're just a young guy on a young team. Like the I would say Sangoon, Smith, Green, that's probably like the upper echelon of the young core. And then you can throw in like the Taris and whatever. There we go. Uh, underneath. And then there's like another layer, and that's where like the guys that like bear like Usman Garuba and and Ty Ty Washington, where it's like he looks so good in summer league, yeah, though, Sean. Or also, I like I don't think we should be penciling these guys in for like what, anything. What the what the eventual like postseason rotation is going to look like in yes. three years? I would say for the most chances part, are they won't be on the team. Here's the thing: there's a lot of people that just don't care about the Rockets. So the people who are really following them are the people that are extremely passionate and love the team on a level that. I do not, that Sean does not. And those people are just way too optimistic. This team blows. They're not good. It's it's heading in the right direction, I think, with Ime Udoka. But, yeah, I, I'm with Sean. Everything he said right there.